it's uh, late uh, March. I think it's about 28 March 28, 2023. And uh, here in Sweden, in, in the very south of Sweden on the west coast, close to Denmark, we have a winter coming back. So it's very cold outside today, and I, I did a, a video uh, last year for one year ago, and uh, it's so different. It's very freezing today, and uh, for one year ago, it was uh, bees. And flowers were uh, were uh, bloom, and the bees was catching honey from all the flowers. And, and to today here, twenty twenty three March, about twenty eight, I think it's uh, it's frozen and. Uh, we have those spring flowers start to come up, but they don't want to to open up. And there is no bees. It's no insects at all. And so it's very strange weather. I thought we should have a a great spring here in Sweden, but it didn't. And we get more. Uh, yesterday we have snowing and it will be more snow. So uh, much is going on now in 2023. But that is already told in those other episodes that uh, 2023 will be a very difficult year because of uh, the peak of uh, bad things going to be this year. And I don't know exactly when, but uh, I know when they say the, the spirits that talk to me they say that uh, the tribulation started in year 2019, 2019. And uh, that's when it started, uh, the pandemic. And, uh, and now it's um, in our part, uh, is it uh, gone, most of it? So I don't need to wear a mask anymore. Uh, not even in uh, crowded places because there is no uh, no virus going on that can kill us. There is always vi virus, but not killing virus. But there is uh, killing uh, on... Uh, in other countries uh, with many different diseases that kill people. And what we have here in Sweden is it uh, uh, the chicken start to be sick. And uh, it's some salmonella uh, bacteria going on that come from from many uh, handle meat the, with uh, dirty hands that they don't wash their hands when they have been to the bathroom and then we get it uh, like a pandemic things going on in in the inside our country and uh, so it make me feel like uh, I should soon start to stop eat 
eating chicken and now it's it only fish to eat that can be clean but not uh, like in Africa in those ponds uh, dirty water that you they are poisoning also the fish to eat and uh, those uh, slim people a tiny people that they often show us for to get money uh, uh, from us those people are most likely is it not only HIV AIDS or the pandemic diseases but that is also worms inside our body because they eat filthy food so that's why they are very tiny you can see the bones uh, on them in them Uh, and they say they starving to death but uh, God have shown me the truth and knowing the truth of course there is some people that uh, that have no food to eat but in those countries like in Africa they have this family system and uh, also the village system that we don't have so we don't think in that way and we only see this person is starving but uh, uh, but the reality, the truth is that they eat so so filthy food, so they get worms inside them, and they take out all the worms, eat up all the uh, nutrient, and there is in Africa very much uh, worms that go in into your the flesh, into the bones and eat up everything inside the person but they can make money of it that they say they are starving so so send money to us um, I, I am going to talk a little about myself also not about worms and <laughs> um, I have uh, it have started like uh, I knew it in my heart but uh, I I get it uh, in real now that 2023 is going to be a good year for me Uh, when I talking about 2023 to be a peak that be the opposite for me um, and uh, it's gonna be a good year and uh, it's have already started uh, the first was that started uh, I think it was uh, when I got this man coming and helping me in my home and maybe we be a couple well, I don't know uh, but uh, at least uh, but uh, uh, he helped me even if I have to pay f- pay him to clean up my home and help me to organizing things uh, he uh, that is what I needed to have and I have not got it for 22 years and now suddenly he come after I come come home from Jerusalem and uh, so I started my life here in Sweden as uh, being out from uh, do missions for heaven and God to educate me in uh, knowledge about what's going on in 
in heaven and what is going on uh, here on earth because the what's going on in heaven and what's going on in hell that reflects on on this planet and um, uh, it we have uh, like an agreement that the spirit should not touch me so much because my brain need to rest a little from it and uh, but uh, there is someone touch me but not so much uh, if it's a, a calm spirit that doesn't hurt my brain so much uh, that's okay but I hope uh, I they uh, this spirit doesn't touch me too much um, uh, today. Of course, they can come here later on when I have done the rest of my brain for a little while. And, and I wanted to tell about what's going on in my life. First, it was this man that was coming. And then... Uh, Yesterday, I was to the eye doctor, uh, as it uh, is no uh, pandemic now in Sweden, am I not so worried to go to the hospital? So, and I told them that uh, I can go to the to the doctor t- to investigate my my eyes. It's another word for it, examination uh, of the eyes uh, because of the pandemic, but now it's gone. So I was to the doctor uh, last week and uh, that was about uh, to see how my diabetic have have done with my eyes and I had a little a slide of of some uh, um, issues with the eyes but not not dangerous not uh, so I go blind but it's a little change in my eyes but not not so they are so they say I need to be treated more than I need to treat it for my whole body about uh, to take away the diabetic diabetes so uh, that we working on and um, and then uh, yesterday I was to the eye doctor again and I met three doctors this time because uh, the doctor it was in September 2022 the the doctor say it was from another and a doctor that wanted to know what's going on with me and uh, I know this doctor he say we start with the eyes he say I didn't like that he say uh, that the eyes could be bad that's why my brain is so confusing and uh, damaged and I I know it was not wrong with my eyes and I have glasses eyeglasses but it's most for I look more interesting I think it's for for this uh, nicer look uh, but not that I could have be out from eyeglasses if I wanted to do that but that if uh, I see a little uh, uh, worse uh, than before but uh, so it should uh, should uh, make it hard for my brain it should be more tired to focus 
with my eyes. And um, and and uh, they look at my eyes in all kind of things, and uh, they say that my eyes was okay. I have no damage, a big damage on my eyes, and uh, but they uh, because of the doctor have wanted them to. <coughs> Look at my eyes. Uh, they wanted to make uh, more tests on the eyes. Uh, about three weeks from now to see. Uh, uh, but they say it was only for to uh, communicate with the doctor that everything is okay with the eyes. It have nothing with my brain to do. Uh, so that's so it have started now. That should have been started two thousand eighteen. Should have started for almost a four and a half year. Should it have been so uh, that uh, I hope it's not too late. For the brain to be okay again, the, that this doesn't contain you to be worse. And um, I'm going to talk about narcissism. I have started to talk about narcissism, and uh, I want to talk a little more about it because I come to know. Uh, much more today, so uh, I want to recording it. But I would tell I I wanted also to tell you that it start to be uh, to examination uh, uh, research on my what's going on with with my brain. So that's good, and uh, I think it's a a, a part of it. It's a now is someone is very touch me because I say that because I believe that it's a mix of that I was a drive over by a car in two thousand eighteen and the spirit touch that make the brain be confused, but I prefer to have this. Spirit touch me, and be okay w uh, with what caused the problem when I the car drive over me. I don't want to close the door to the spirit world. It's only that they have to. They are eager. They are eager. They are very. Oh, listen to me. Listen to me. They are. They can be very selfish in that way, uh, because they have a door open for them to communicate with with us, with you here on Earth. So they want want maybe a little too much to do it. So they have to go back and wait for their turn. And wait for me to rest a little sometimes. So uh, it's someone a poke. I see a finger from the spirit, and uh, I think that finger it's showing me that I should go on with this with the narcissism uh, and. Um, so I should not forget it. It's the finger like that. And uh, they are going to be with me in this talking about it maybe. And it's about I, I watch uh, uh, for a, a little uh, some minutes a video it's called uh, the gray stone. And that uh, is an answer, 
answer very much about this, uh, how to do it when you are involved in this relationship with a narcissist. Uh, it's not easy when you have small children uh, with this person and uh, you live in a country where it's hard to be on your own with and take care of kids in uh, in all function not only in money but also uh, raise them so it's not so easy uh, uh, because that's what they are doing that's the one of their goal the narcissist uh, narcissistic person that person want you to be locked in like in a prison and one of the prison way is to make children with you and then uh, it's more than me i i have experienced it and uh, i know that it's more than me that have experienced this that uh, this person can be very nice as long as you are are on your own but as soon you give birth or as soon you be pregnant that person that devil inside this person is growing and and uh, start uh, yeah i know some women that have had a fist he hit you in the stomach where the child are to kill it that because they don't want um, a competi compete with someone else they want your your attention full attention and in that way they hate that you are pregnant and want to kill that baby and uh, that is one part of it but the other part is that they want that child to be born because that means that you can't run away from him he lock you in with a baby and be pregnant it's depend what uh, state he start to feel that he have the power over you uh, or she have the power of him because you are pregnant with his child it can be both side of this of course that uh, you you say you have taken your pill uh, and you have not taken your pill because you want to be pregnant with him so you can control him and uh, he he got the baby that he was not okay with and and you have all the control have all this emotional control over him all this uh, that you can block him from to get another woman in his life it's very sad these things and um, so the gray stone i didn't know what it was what she was talking about but I understood it very quick because the gray stone is the is a powerful stone when you see a, a gray stone it have no it's no shining it's n n nothing you can walk pass by it without any notice it and uh, and that it means that you hold your peace and uh, it we are 
three personality. You are outgoing person very much like me. I am very, very outgoing person and not in a party like that, but I'm open minded to most everything without a change my brain with alcoholism or drugs like that uh, or medicines. Um, but I'm outgoing to people. I talk to all people and it doesn't matter how they look like. I can talk to to animals also. I, I talk to them also. And, uh, and it's Sometimes I wish I, I could hold up to talk, but that's my way, that's my personality. And I can't do so much about it because it's, I, I have seen those pictures of me as a child that I was on, on my go. <laughs> I was already far ahead of everyone because I was so much outgoing. I didn't want to be with my family. I wanted to go out from it. And uh, then uh, we have this introverts, this person that uh, like to be in the shadow, like to to have everything in control, to, to not uh, be confused at all, uh, not uh, want to know everything before it happens. And uh, in, uh, in, in that other was out, outgoing, ingoing person. And then we have a mix of it. And uh, most people are a mix of it. And um, the narcissism per personality, the person that uh, is narcissism, they, they don't like gray stones. They don't like it at all because the gray stones, if they are together with a gray stone, they go very boring, very fast. That's how you can go, come to go out from a, a re relationship with a narcissist by saying, if he or she is saying something to you uh, that you need to answer at, and you say, you can say, okay, only uh, as, as an answer, or saying I, uh, it's what you say and, yeah and uh, I agree to it if it's something that doesn't hurt you you can say uh, yeah I agree to it uh, to make up a fire to to argument argue against what that person is saying is to to make the narcissist more attracted to you that the he or she is uh, she that's that's the fuel of a narcissism person that you say against that person. So uh, I know it's many people of today, uh, young people very much, that you have uh, been raised in that way that you have to take, take, uh, grip it, grip it, that, that you should not be uh, as a, a gray stone. You should have that stone in your hand and 
through it. Back to that one that asks you something like that. That's how you raise your, your kids today. And they don't learn how to to uh, act different from what a, a person have told them. That sometimes it's it not good uh, good to throw the rock back to that person. That it's better to take that gray stone and hold it and uh, let it go to the ground and not do anything about it. It's a gray stone is to hold uh, your power in inside you and not bring it out when it's not good to do it. But it's very it's very hard when you are an outgoing person. You don't you can't do that to be locked in. Uh, like those people that is already that personality in them that they can go back to to the dark corner and sit there and it's okay for them to do it there is people like that they like to be uh, controlled and dominated they don't want to have this freedom and uh, that's okay for them. <coughs> but uh, a person that is outgoing, you can't take that. Because you you have been raised that you are f- a free person. You have the right to, to, to tell against that, that other person what he or she is saying. And you, you feel this is wrong, and then you tell that. So for you, that is outgoing. It's still uh, what I have talked about. It is to run, run as long as you can, to uh, go away the, from that person, maybe leaving the country. And not ever, never uh, answer on their chat or telephone or what they can have for to feel like they have a control over you in some way. It does for you is when you are thinking about it is for you is it oh that's not much that. He or she calling me and I let the telephone be on and and that person can talk whatever they want to say and I don't listen to it and the telephone is on only and and that that doesn't work on a narcissist person it's a, a you can uh, block the voice to be heard. It have nothing, nothing uh, victory in that way, because you need to really stop it so they can't take contact with you. Even if you don't listen at the, the what they are saying, you still fuel them. You give them the fuel to still to, uh, to attack you, uh, to hunt you in that way. You need to block it, total block it, that he or she can never take contact with you. And uh, if you, oh, I, I don't listen now, and then next time you open up uh, so they can talk to you, even if you don't listen, then you have fuel, give them the fuel 
they go go crazy about it and want to do more hurt you and uh, so th- that is not not uh, something to do i advise you to really stop it and maybe maybe change the telephone number but they will find it out in any way because they are sending agent a spy there are, you have people in your your group of friends that spy for this person because they believe that what she have or he have told them what you have done but you have not done these things but they make up a story that you have done and then they ask them ask uh, if you can spy for them so you have they know where you are and where what you are talking about and these things so that doesn't work for a long time maybe a little time and because most of of these uh, narcissist people they are smart in what they are doing they are they are not stupid uh, they uh, they can be very intelligent people it's only their that they are thinking wrong in their way to see themselves it is about themselves the whole time they are king and queens of everything they have control like my grandkids uh, mother she hold the control in in the court about her children but uh, she but uh, after maybe after 50 times in the court they uh, they understood that uh, this is not a, a woman that should have the the kids the custody of the kids because because also that she have already a daughter that they took away from her so it was easier to make a decision the second time of my grandkids to not let her have her kids um, but they manipulate everything everything it's not I have been in this with a uh, with a Nazis person that they can never have wrong and they you are the one that have wrong and you know to 100% that you have the right you you tell them the truth and you know the truth but still they can manipulate you to adopt yourself to to believe in what they are saying and they pointed out to you very hard that you are stupid you don't know anything that's uh, the devil is talking like that you don't know any, anything no one listen at you no one want to be your friend they isolate people the, those people that they targeting that they hunt they isolate them by talking behind their back and talking bad things about you and and they are very good in what they are doing because they have done that since maybe uh, when they were born and they manipulate and is extremely nice looking very behaved in everything and and there is people that don't see the lies because it's hard to to see the lies it's a, it's a system 
in what they are doing. They, this is not the first time when they are on you. It's only that they find you interesting to manipulate, to interested to make you be isolated. They, they, you give them their interest in you as a person. Not in a loving way, but to to kill you. That's what they are going for. And that's why you need to be a grey stone. That you are not interesting for them. That's how you can... If you can't walk away for, or run away from them because you don't have... Uh, most likely you don't have any friends that you can get help from because this narcissist person have taken all your friends you had before they are gone they are on his or her side now they are not with you so understand that those people are not with you anymore. So you you can get help to move away from your city because the narcissist person wants to know where you're moving. So they can so the this who he or she can come after you where you live. Uh, they can can go very far to hit you if you hold the interest for them. When you need to to teach yourself to be a grey stone, to be no interest for that person, that is narcissism, and that is not easy. Like I say. When you are outgoing person, you are open, and uh, that's why that's many times is the answer. How can I get nurses people over and over again? They look very nice, are very nice from the start, and then in one point. It, they change to be so you can see that they are evil, they are sick, mental sick. That uh, you can maybe see one day, but, but uh, you maybe never see it. And, uh, and they have escape in that way that you don't have any friends that tell you the truth. If they see it, they don't tell you because they uh, they ha uh, are manipulated and um, supporting the other side. Uh, you you need to, to learn to be a grey stone, or else you ha have to to run away so much so that person can't find you again because they want to find the you they want to find you because you have been a success for them to uh, be the control over your life control over your past friends control even if your mother and father can have been manipulated of this person you maybe find yourself have no friends at all and uh, you maybe have friends but they are scared to tell you the truth because uh, that have this narcissist person have manipulate them to have fear for you yeah, and fear for your reaction if they tell you the truth. It's, uh, it's not uh, their fault 
they are also a victim of the narcissism. And uh, I, I can tell you more and more about it. Uh, but I, I want to... Yeah, I I wait for this touching I have to say if it's something <clears throat> you hear. I know it uh, take away uh, my voice here. <clears throat> so <clears throat> is um, it, it is he he again. Uh, I don't say it in the wrong way. I say it solely that he is here. It's Jesus again. He looked like the picture of Jesus that uh, the painter have uh, have a fantasy that he looked like that. Um, so it's it's because he want to to me to understand that he is Jesus, even if he didn't look like that in real reality, but that's how he looked like in a picture with a with a white, almost white uh, clothes on him. Little eggshell color clothes. So he hold his hand on the chest. He hold a hand on his chest because that's uh, why I be like this in my voice. So uh, I don't know why you do that to to me to hold. It's um, I will see what he's saying. And he say that what he's saying to me is that to hold your peace. That's why he hold uh, over his hand on the chest. But what he is showing me is that he hold his hand not really on the chest. He hold the hand on his heart. That's a uh, peace. So that's what he's saying to hold your peace in these things, to be smart, to have your own thinking, and not go for the negative. What what these Nazis people are saying to you, that uh, you have to. He say that to you to do this thing that he is telling me now to go into a resting place, a place where you can find peace. And uh, I see it. Uh, it's a person sitting on a, on a very green grass under a tree and uh, it's... Um, Yeah, this person that sits under the trees is saying, I need to breathe. I need to have my peace on my own. And, and see in distance what's going on in my life. And uh, it's always good to write on the paper in a notebook or a diary, diary, diary book uh, to what what's going on, to see it on paper, what you have written and understand and uh, ask for help from heaven to understand what's going on in your life. And I... Uh, in this way, I ask Jesus to send a message 
to you to understand what is going on in your life that is on your way to kill you. And uh, to kill you means in the spirit way to lose your your spirit, lose yourself. To kill is to lose everything because of this evil person hunting you and hunting you and hunting you wherever you are. And it's you, I ask for for Jesus to say to help you to be a strong person to could understand what's going on and I'm going to talk about this subject more for you to understand because it's it's the devil running around in this time it's tribulation time and you need to to be smart, to be intelligent or and educate yourself in this to could resist this attack, to avoid this attack. So thank you for listening and God bless you. Keep it up and and study and listen at this subject more.